we're seeing more openness to looking at different types of profiles in terms of how they may have grown up and uh, as opposed to just the classic operational um, route to the top um, and seeing people either who come through a, a medical lens or through a finance lens who have the ability to, to ascend into the top spot and it really is based on that potential and being able to do a bit more of the assessment around that to, to ensure that the board then is comfortable making that making that different choice than what would have been historically made. Most boards are looking for board members to bring some skills and capabilities to the table, be that from uh, the role that they held in the past or the environment that they've worked in and they're bringing either kind of digital experience to the table, CEO experience to the table. So there's a bit of the, the background and expertise to be able to both serve as a board member, but also serve as a strong advisor to the, to the CEO. Men can actually do quite a bit um, and particularly to serve as mentors to women and frankly active mentors of women. I've seen some really great examples of male leaders who've been quite successful in their career, um, you know, mentoring more junior women and helping break down some of the barriers or some of the perceptions of that individual and promoting them. Thanks so much for joining us. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not already and click on the link below for the full interview.